Salve, citizens of the Empire, and welcome back to the series. Now begins the age of... With the Hellenic faith reform, now begins the age of actually restoring the Empire and reforming the Roman culture. The Roman culture being the last piece that I have wanted to do in this series. Uh, and so... We are going to go on uh, a conquest spree. One thing I did notice, though, I just wanted to point out, is that the uh, Umayyads have uh, expanded over here in England as well. I mean, Western Europe is just a mess. The border gore is oh, horrifying, actually. Um, but uh, we will fix it. So, uh, again, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and um, clean up our own borders and then also expand outwards and take what is necessary to restore the Empire. What's that, Venice? You won't join us? Oh, that's so unfortunate for you. Also, one of the things we really need to remedy is Italy. Uh, the king here does like us, however he... Uh, or despot, rather. However, he's zealous, so we can't force convert him. Ooh, the stars have been analyzed, and we are entering a new prosperous age. Everyone must know. My daughter has been born, I think I'm going to name her after uh, the first female empress of the Empire. Destroyed, thank you very much. I think I'll uh, keep Venice as my own holding for now. It's quite a prosperous one. Uh, let's just convert that. Instead of doing holy wars, we're going to start doing county conquests on the people that uh, where we only need a county. Uh, like this one. A monument? I'll accept. I'm starting to think Princess Parthena might fancy me. Guess what? She's my daughter. I think I'll do this for fun. We'll, we'll make a move. Oh my god. Oh. This is... Weird. Yeah. We give her a good tumble. I think I'll, uh, I'll marry her off now. Thank you. That province is mine. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh no, the de jure kingdom of France is just all over the place. We're gonna have to fix this. Yeah, I need some fertility. I'll do it. Oh wow, you've converted to uh, the Hellenic faith. Congratulations, Ariulf. Even though you were... Oh no, you're not zealous anymore, I see. Alright, we took that. Now we're gonna push in over here. Well, hello there, remnant of Croatia. I don't think you're a king. I think your time in this world is over. Oh, wow! Look at that! The Bengal Empire has basically united all of India. I suppose these are tributary states to the Bengals. Yeah. Wow. And they're, like, pushing into uh, the Himalayas there. My daughter's apparently pregnant with uh, my child. I just got an event, a pop-up with that information. Hopefully she can convince my... Uh, son-in-law and kinsman that it's his oh yeah my affair with my daughter resulted in a child that amazingly is not actually uh, inbred wait what a blust has passed why am i getting this event and why am i getting this response blessed be his name he's a catholic disgusting and now that's back into the fold of the Empire, so Sardinia looks pretty good aesthetically, that's what matters. Usurp Sicily, fantastic. Oh look! Caliph Jibril! So, Jibril's actually, uh, as far as I understand, based on Gabriel, because if you were to pronounce Great Gabriel in Arabic, uh, it'd be Jibril. So, uh, that's cool. We've got someone who, who's actually named Gabriel. Amazing. I don't think I'm going to attack him now, but he's young, so he might actually see a great holy war targeting him. Pope, you won't join me? How dare you? I think I'll have to fight you. A Latium would seem like the obvious thing to go for, but we're going to go for uh, Ferrara because those are two provinces, and together they actually make more money than the other one on its own. My wife having an affair... Ugh, how dare you. But very well, I'm just disappointed. Oh, my 16-year-old daughter just died of cancer. 
Oh, I love seeing the AI screw this up. They just march around, lose thousands of men on the march. I mean, they, they do have quite the numbers there, but as you see, it's just withering away at... Oh, look at the attrition, 108%. Oh, well, total monthly attrition, 20.6. I know I have 100%, but I almost feel like fighting them just to uh, wipe their army so my vassals have an easier time. Oh, and the King of France is my prisoner. <gasps> that was worth it. That was totally worth it. I need the holdings in Thrace here to, uh, to be mine. There's this one place that's still under the... Caliphate. Of course, we're going to take this eventually, uh, but we'll start with this one. should be rather simple. Oh, Kabril died under suspicious circumstances. All right, so now we have Ismail um, that we're fighting against, and he should be pretty easy to defeat. I mean, we're already winning. Oh, another daughter's dead. That's really, really unfortunate. I'm almost hoping my wife dies of the measles so that we uh, can start reproducing more, so to speak. Smallpox? Ouch, that's that's pretty bad. You surrender? Ah, congratulations, that took a while. Uh, yep. Yeah. Alright, good. Some random duchy in uh, Russia here wants to convert. Uh... Sure. All right. Ah, uh, we could start a great holy war. Unfortunately, we have a truce with this guy. I wonder if could I murder you? Maybe. All right. By moving our spy to Baghdad as well, seems to have increased the plot power by a little bit here, and hopefully, we'll be able to um, to have this uh, this infant gone from the throne. To be replaced by another infant, his brother, of course, but, um, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. The Dancing Plague is here. Oh, no. Um, where is it? Isn't it in Italy? Oh, no, it's over here. Uh-huh. Another Prosperous Age? Yes, everyone must know. Ooh, the plan is approved. Let's see if this works. Eh, people discovered. Whatever. Worth it. Ah, uh, yes, because now we can actually declare war, and we can take stuff. Africa would be nice because it has Tunis, but uh, they don't really hold all of that. If we went for Egypt, however, we take all the holdings, and I think we'll do that, because uh, the same goes for Jerusalem. They don't actually hold everything in, in the Jerusalem kingdom, so I'd rather just take that as a separate thing later. Um, yeah, I think we'll go for Egypt. I invite all to feast in the holy places of the Caliph for Mars. And of course we will sacrifice a great bull. And morale of armies plus 20%. Fantastic. Hmm, just manually going through one by one here. And everyone I can execute. It's kind of... Well, it's not nice, but... You know, gotta clear up the, the space so that the, the game doesn't lag in late game, of course. That's the excuse I have. Controlling an army of 60,000 men isn't exactly easy, because each of these tanks can't individually be placed in a province. Uh, the attrition would be just way too high, unfortunately. Actually, this one I might. We'll lose like 300 men, but that's okay. Oh, I was about to ask. Where are the people? Why aren't they, they joining my great war? And of course, I will, uh, I will allow you to join. Alright, we'll advance slowly here across the plains and uh, capture shit. Hopefully we won't take too much attrition though. Uh, there is a slight risk of that, however. Oops, looks like there's going to be battle here and I was not prepared for it. I think we're pretty safe though. God damn it, of course they have to attack me again. Oh, shit. Alright, you go there, and you go straight there. So, I don't know if my game's broken, but basically... There's this woman here, right? Uh, and she's the claimant for the Sultanate of Egypt, even though... 
Like, why is she gonna get the Sultanate? We went for a great holy war. Uh, anyway, uh, the... Or Caliph Mukhtar seems to want to surrender. And uh, I guess I'll just uh, go ahead and accept. I mean, it sounds really fishy, though. You know what? I want to I wanna make sure I take stuff. Okay, yeah, you know what? We'll, uh... Since he says he's lost the war, it's getting kind of tricky. I don't really want to fight all these stacks around here. So uh, we're just going to enforce our demands and hope that we actually get the e that as part of the Empire. Wait, did I, did I send you the offer? Oh, you're considering it. Come on. And of course, I didn't get it. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you so much. Please explain. Can someone please explain how that... Why? Why? Who is she? I didn't start a war for a claim. I started a great holy war. Why shouldn't I get it? I'm the... Uh, this is so strange. God damn. I mean, are you even important? Who are you at? Who, who are you married to? Who are you? Get the hell out of my face. Ugh. I'm angry because, well, I didn't get what I wanted, and secondly, ah, oh, god damn it! What the hell is happening? She hasn't even like handed out her titles yet. Okay, now it's happening, I guess. But oh, I didn't get the stuff. It's supposed to be mine. I hope someone smart, someone hopefully a paradox, is seeing this and can explain to me what what this is. Like, what what just happened here? Also, she just handed out a bunch of duchies to some Muslims. Like, most of it is uh, Hellenic. But, like this. Oh, the AI. Oh, the AI. Oh, can I... God damn it, it's so annoying. Because, like, I can't even holy war her. I'm almost hoping that she dies, and this Hindu ruler takes over, and then we can just go in and holy war the shit out of... Uh, the region. In fact, I'm gonna marry my son to her. He might die going over there and shit, but, uh... And she's 62. She's probably not gonna have children. Let's be realistic here. But, if everything works out, we might be able to, to get a claim over there. Ah, good times in our first run, to be honest. I was so lucky when the Abbasids just collapsed and we could just march in and take everything. Now it seems like the gods do not favor me as much. You know, I think I'm gonna join her war to defend against this guy who's winning the invasion of Egypt. Ooh, get a glass eye? Yeah, sounds good. You want to become Hellenic? Uh, yeah, sure. I knew it, my son is imprisoned by a Sunni uprising. It's not even like a good thing, like some Epic thing, it's just some some rebels. Ooh finally you actually want to uh become um Hellenic, yes. You I will look heartily accept because then I can actually just ask you to join the Empire, hopefully. Okay, the game is entirely broken. So I joined her in the defensive war for this dude who's attacking Oh, it's, it's for Palmyra, I see. Right, so this is Egyptian. For some reason. Uh, okay. Alright, here we go. He became... Or she's died, and now we have a Hindu ruler on the Egyptian throne. Thank you so much, Paradox. Like, yeah, I declare a great holy war, expect to take Egypt, and then I basically install a Hindu king who doesn't even like me and he converts to uh, Sunni or is it still him I don't really know no actually the other one died of pneumonia after just like a couple of weeks yeah just like a month or two uh, on the throne and then the Sunni ruler has inherited the the throne god damn it I intend to pretend like this was my plan all along, to split up the opposition or something, um, and we're gonna go for a holy war for Alexandria. 
against um, against him. Of course, this might become quite a big war all over again, but we've weakened the Abbasids by splitting them up like this. Then we go in, take what we need, and uh, get a foothold here instead of getting all of it. God damn it. He surrenders. We accept, of course. Ah, oh, thank the gods. They're Myrmidons. The newborn Hellenic religion has found new protectors in the Myrmidons, a company of faithful warriors dedicated to the protection of the sacred altars of the old gods and fight against the barbarous infidels besieging them. They swear loyalty to all Hellenic rulers against those who would do them harm. A most devout man named Kyriakos has pledged himself to undertake the leadership of the order to preserve their way of life. Praise Venus. They shall lead us to victory. Ah, wow. 10,000 strong? I'm gonna be hiring them all the time. We're entering a favorable area or um, period of our time. Everyone must know, of course. Alright, only three left. Latium, Tunis, and Jerusalem. Uh, Latium should be rather easy. Jerusalem... Uh, less so, and Tunis probably the hardest. I'm just hoping that the Abbasids uh, sort of collapse, or the Umayyads take over that region, or something of the sort happens. I think that I want to compose a book, uh, and I think that theme will be will be war. The Queen of Sweden is imprisoned, and my wife has a claim on Sweden. Uh, I know this isn't Sweden, okay, but somehow it's ended up here, so we're gonna take it. Alright, uh, we will become, or my wife will become Queen of Sweden. Question is, alright, so you own, that was it? What's the Jure Sweden? Nothing. Okay, this is very confused. Why is, what, you're Queen of Norway as well? Right. I've had a bunch of people in my dungeons forever. Uh, I'd get a bunch of negative opinion modifiers with uh, lots of people all over the place, so... You know, I feel kind. Today I feel kind. Today I'm gonna release 16 people. Well, hello there, Pope Man. Goodbye, Pope Man. The Mongol Khan now sits upon the Dragon Throne. Ooh. Scary. Okay. I don't remember how you got a favor, I, th I don't really recall. Anyway, uh, this guy used his favor to enforce realm peace? All internal wars wage between vessels win and white peace in four months. Why would you want- oh! I know, okay. Because you're in the middle of some, uh, some- oh, no? What are, what are you fighting? Despot Hippocrates, the wars. Okay, but you're attacking, so I don't understand why you did that. Anyway, let's enforce our demands here. Boom, order bellows ours. Also, yeah, the realm piece is really strange because we also have the l law that uh, for forbids internal vassal wars. So I have no idea what uh, what's up with uh, with that. Like, I'm actually genuinely confused about this game, to, to be honest. And I have uh, 1,000, 2,000 hours in the game. I mean, I'm good at the game, but just s some things that the AI does are, are terribly confusing. God damn it, of course. A yihad for Syria. Alright, okay. We'll uh, have to defend ourselves here. Interestingly enough, of course everyone else is going to join. Oh wait, no, th these are the Shias. Oh. Well, now that's something. Yeah, you're going to lose. On Imperial Warfare has been added to your treasury. Yes, we've composed a book. Fantastic. You know, I might come to regret this, but like, I know it's good to see my vassals expand on their own and stuff, but currently some of my vassals are just so big, right? Uh, that I'm thinking to allow inter or internal vassal wars might actually weaken some of the bigger vassals, especially the ones that have like 
screwed up borders, right? Uh, at the same time, the smaller ones might not... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'll... I'll leave it like this for now, but... Uh, I mean, for example, Bulgaria is uh, way too big. The Austrasian Liberation Revolt, honestly, a lot scarier than uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, war we're currently fighting, but not really that scary, actually. I think we'll be fine. I think we need a, a set of new armor, and I'm really hoping we get a quality level 4 or 5 um, asset here. Because, uh, I mean, the, the armor we have is quality 2, so it'd be, it'd be nice to have uh, something stronger, something nicer. Fit for Pontifex Maximus. Wait, this is the armor smith you're supposed to recruit for me? Like, I know this is supposed to increase the, the chance of a great weapon, but, like, this guy does not seem at all qualified to create a fantastic tool. Yeah, also, quality level 5 items are uh, actually, you, can only, you can't smith your way to a quality level 5 I item. But anyway, I trust the, the skill of our own smiths. Wait, what? Adds poorly crafted sword. Wait, where is it? Ew, disgusting. You know what? It's probably not even worth giving away. Actually, we'll give it away to someone, but like, gee, that's bad. Let's give it to the King of Pomerania, because, you know, whatever. <laughs> or wait, no, we should give it to uh, to the people we're fighting here, to the Caliph. Give artifact, poorly crafted sword. It's gonna be an insult. Even though it will increase our opinion, or his opinion of us. There will be a crusade soon. I thank you, Despot Louis Pert. Oh, yeah, you're joining us. Okay, that's good. Alright. Yes, my wife died. No, sorry. Uh, it's just that, you know, it'd be nice if we had a, li a little bit more children. We only have 64 living members. Most people would say that's a lot, but, you know, I'd like to be on the safe side. I want that genius blood in me, or in my children, so we'll go with you, of course. Aww. We actually used to love each other. I guess I'll visit her grave. Oh, a lover's memento. Health plus point five. Thank you very much, dear beloved one. Oh, look at who's imploded. We have borders with them. That's fantastic. The bloated fools. A favorable pe period. Of course, we will uh, let everyone know about it. I wonder what happens if you don't let people know about something good. You have lost, and what you did was foolish, Caliph Jabir. You know, I'll probably die before we actually uh, reach the title of L Logo Arc, but I feel like we should join, you know. I haven't tried this one yet. Uh, cost 292 gold, of course. I suppose the crusade never fired because the thing went away. I mean, we, we outnumbered them like 5 to 1, so it would make sense if they just gave up to begin with. Alright, we have the necessary majority of loyalists in the council. We'll uh, pass this law of execution. Maximus. Yes, that will be the name of my... Uh, one of my sons here. Also, my daughter just died, and I'll show you later, but... Yeah, actually, yeah, here. Uh, family. Wait, no? Who was it? You. Well, there was someone who died, and there was, like, an infinite amount of... Uh, People in China. It's very strange. Okay, what what's happened? Where are they? Yeah, here. Siblings. Prince Gregory of Greece. Uh, ah, right, they're not... She's... Well, she's my granddaughter. Right, uh, daughter to Parthena, who's my daughter. And you see, left for uh, China, left for China. She died, and then we have this one grandson and this one granddaughter. Or three, rather. They're still, still alive here. Oh, the crusade has begun, I believe. Or no? Papal claim on Ordobello. Ah, uh, good luck with that. Everyone shall fear... My guardian. Yes. How's the armor? Quality level 3. Okay, that's, that's decent. That's better than... Uh, uh, level 2. You have lost, Pope Man. Once more. 
A holy war for Jerusalem? Yes, please. Oh, my son has died in the Battle of Acre. Good thing he wasn't the heir, though. Another one bites the dust. Offer peace, enforce demands. Boom, Jerusalem is mine. Ah, only one more duchy. Tunis. Unfortunately, it's owned by the same people we just attacked, so we'll have to see this little boy um, die. Also, he's a genius. That's not good. We definitely need to get rid of him. The province of Illyricum has been restored to its rightful owner. Long live the Empire. The little caliph is dead. Excellent. Here we go in the Holy War for Tunis. Will I be alive to see the Empire be restored? I'm 71 years old. I've been blind basically my entire life. I wonder. What a cliffhanger to leave on, though. I think that will actually have to be it. Um, Focus, Pontifex Maximus, Focus, the Lawgiver. This guy has ruled for a long time now. Uh, we were elected in the year, yeah, 40 years on the throne. We have sat blind and fat, but uh, one of the greatest leaders we've had so far, and so close now to restoring the glory of Rome. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll wrap it up here. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave comments down below on what you think I should do. Should I, for example, change the um, Vassal War Declaration Law to allowed internal wars? Should I leave it the way it is, or, you know, if there are any other ideas, I'd appreciate them. This being Game Gapster, I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.